news tonight. He is a person of interest in the 2012 death of a former girlfriend who was also the mother of his child. You may recall Brandon Woodall is making headlines after being charged with capital murder and the death of a different young woman. Tuesday morning, police charged him in the shooting death of his most recent girlfriend, Kayla Lewis. That arrest prompted a statement from the sheriff's office Thursday about the murder of Antonisha Dawson. CBS 42 News reporter Stefan Dingle joins us now in the newsroom. And Stefan, you spoke with Ms. Dawson's mother tonight who is reliving her pain. Sherry, she is. Just four years ago, Antonisha Dawson was 22 years old and her body was found dumped on the side of the road. She left behind her one-year-old son at the time and questions swirled about who may have killed her. But with her former boyfriend now charged in another case, questions swirl again. How to say it in a moment. It, it's just like it just re a rerun. It, it's all over again. A harsh reminder for Sharon Dawson, who's endured four years of pain after losing her daughter, Antonisha, while she was dating Brandon Woodall. The same man charged in the death of Kayla Lewis. I feel it every day. Nothing can take that feeling from a mom. I never thought in a million years he would have robbed her of her life at the age of 25. She lost her child. The children don't have mom. Two mothers haunted by the loss of their daughters, possibly by the same man they once dated. If he did, I wish he would confess, come clean with himself. I prayed for so long. I mean, every day, all day. However, her now five-year-old grandson yes, come here, okay. <laughs> provides her a glimmer of hope and unbreakable link to her daughter, but a grim reminder as the child bears the last name of his father, Brandon Woodall. Sometimes I don't know what to say to him. I wonder what, what it'll be like when he get grown, you know? But we pray. And we, we just ask God to just work with us on it. Two mothers feeling that pain tonight. Now we are working on connecting these two grieving mothers who have expressed an interest in meeting one another in an effort to heal. We're live in the newsroom tonight. Stefan Diggle, CBS 42 News.